good evening everyone it's been a long time i trust you've had a great week so far and uh, today i'm going to be preparing one of nigerian very popular soups i'm preparing uh, egusi soup today but um i'll be using the yoruba style preparing it the way the yoruba know how to i mean prepare it that's the way i was taught to prepare it to start with I've got my in this um, tray. I've got stock fish and bomo, freshly cleaned and washed. So I'm just going to put that in a saucepan and boil. In this, I'll be adding one tablespoon full of salt. One teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder. Seasoning. And then water. I'm going to allow it to boil for about 10-15 um, minutes. This is because these parts of my ingredients are still very raw and they need to be cooked to be brought to the same level as my other egg ingredients or other meat stock. My other ingredients, my other ingredients for this soup are um my melon that is a good sea seeds i've washed this uh, what i'm going to do with it is that i'm going to blend it into a very smooth and thick paste and i've also i've got three, about three and a half cups in there and i've got um my dried and slash smoked fish i've got both dried and smoked fish in there again cleaned and deboned i've got my um pumpkin leaves that is um google leaves i this was um, bought fresh and cleaned and I started in the freezer, I only brought it out this morning. And I also have two tins of plum tomatoes, I'm going to blend as well. I've got two medium sized onion bulbs and then four hot pepper. I'm, I have I need palm oil, that's palm oil, I'm going to use about one cup for that and also my chicken bouillon chicken stock seasoning and salt to taste. I'm going to use um, two tins, I mean two, four cubes of no chicken stock. I'll use that first before I use the chicken powder if I require more. I'm going to start now by blending this melon. I've added my about one cup of um, palm oil. It's currently heating up. This is my blended egg, you see. You can see, I try to make it as thick as possible. It's all smooth. I'm now going to fry my blended egg, in my hot palm oil. I'm going to put it in a like that, I see I'm frying a car. Whilst my um, my agusi is frying, I'm going to now blend my tomatoes, onions, and pepper. I'll be adding one tatashi. That's. I need to check my um, agusi now. What I'm trying to achieve is lump in the agusi itself. I'll be adding two tablespoons full of the fish. Just to give it some added taste. That's my goosey as it is now. You see the lump? I didn't want to be too, too big of a lump. So now I'm now going to add my my blended onions, pepper and tomatoes. And the pepper, blended pepper mixture is added. I will now cover and I will allow it to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes to allow the um, pepper mixture to cook. 
my soup will be boiling for about 10 minutes now. I'm not going to add my meat. Sorry, my dried fish. My boiled stockfish and no more. Add my parboiled goat meat and chicken. Add my four chicken stock seasoning. A teaspoon of salt. I'm going to stir and then leave to simmer for about seven to ten minutes. my soup I'm now going to add my vegetables at this stage I'm going to add my pumpkin leaves I'm now going to cover and allow to the vegetable to cook for about five to seven minutes and then my soup will be done that's my soup my eggsy soup done I'm going to serve mine. This, this you can this soup you can serve with panadam, eba, semovita, um, amala, or even um, uh, what's it called? Any carbohydrate of your choice. But tonight I'm going to serve mine with panadam. I'll show you a picture of it when I finish serving it. Thank you for watching. Please leave your feedback, like, share, and subscribe. Bye.